Hey guys, Mark Wages again. So today we're going to talk about a cool feature of the Sirius. And if you've flown the Sirius, to be honest, you've probably forgotten about it or didn't even notice it after the first you know couple minutes in the airplane. So uh, if you fly any other airplane, you're very familiar with the blue knob in the middle between the throttle and the mixture. Um, and if you've always been a Sirius driver, you have no idea what I'm talking about. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at how Sirius did away with the prop lever on uh, the SR line of aircraft. And we're going to look a little bit closer at the mechanics and how that actually works. So stay tuned. First thing I need to do is I need to send a big thank you out to Jim Barker. Uh, Jim Barker has a company up in Wisconsin, specializes in Cirrus. If you have a problem with your aircraft, it's not quite running optimally, especially you know turbos. If you have a vibration you can't get rid of, uh, Jim can take care of you. AviationVibes.com. He's kind of the Cirrus guru. So if you've been on Copa, if you've been to any of the CBBB events, you ask people about you know who to talk to about Cirrus. It's Jim Barker. So aviationvibes.com. I'll put a link down in the description. He was nice enough to mock this up for us. We've been using this at the uh, the CPPP events for the Sears Owners and Pilots Association. But I wanted to take advantage of uh, having it here to go ahead and show you how throttle actuates the prop in the Sears aircraft. So we're going to start out. Uh, we're at idle power. So if we take a look here, we've got the. This is a typical setup for all the Sears's. Throttle, mixture would be right here, no prop lever. So it's in the idle position right now. This would be full throttle, and this happens to be off of a turbo. This would be a turbo normalized. So let's take a closer look at the minute details and why this system is, and this setup is so cool. So here we're at idle, say 700, 800 RPM. As you advance for, say, takeoff power, we're going to start bringing this up. And as we advance this, if you watch the cutout, you're going to see it slowly start to move the prop forward. So it's going to continue to move the prop forward, and then it's going to stop. So if you notice right there, about right there, the prop is actually going to stop. It's not going to be advancing the RPM any longer. So you're going to have this long duration of 2,500 RPM is approximately what this is set at. And then to the very end, you're going to get that extra 200 RPM right there. So it's just the last half inch or so, it advances that extra 200 RPM. So you notice when you go to take off, you advance the throttle, you advance the throttle, and then all of a sudden you get that extra 200 to go from 2500 to 2700 RPM. That's what you're feeling. And what it actually is, is that the cutout, the way it's designed here, it's got the big flat spot you can see, and I'll hold it up so you can see it a little bit better up close, and advance it through. But that big flat area in the middle of the cutout is what allows it to maintain that 2500 RPM and then go to that full RPM. So right there we're at 25, it's not moving, there it starts to move just the last little bit. So very, very simple design, but very, very clever. And it helps a lot to reduce the pilot workload. So instead of having three knobs and having to worry about the prop control, now we have two. So anytime you can do something in the cockpit to reduced pilot workload, that's always a good thing. And that's one thing that Cirrus is great about, is really innovating the aircraft to make it easier for us pilots to fly. So, hope you enjoy. Uh, comment below if you have any questions about the throttle quadrant. Hopefully that was helpful. And I'll see you guys next time. Make sure to like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash Arrow. I post almost daily up there with pictures and videos and cool articles that I find. So, make sure to join us on there. And I appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching.